My name is Anil Nair and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. And I'm going to help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. This matrix A is orthogonal, and if it is, we're going to find its inverse. So, I'm going to write out the matrix. All right, so here's our 4 by 4 matrix, and it satisfies the first criteria that is that this is a square matrix, so that's good. Um, so we're going to define this to be V1, V2, V3, and V4, so we can you know, easily refer to these columns. So we're going to check the magnitude of V1, which is going to be the square root of 1 half squared, so 1 fourth, plus 1 half squared, which is another fourth, plus negative 1 half squared, which is 1 fourth, plus another 1 half squared, which is 1 fourth, all square rooted. That turns out to be 1. So, since our first column has a magnitude of 1, uh, we're good there. Next, we're going to check the magnitude of the second column, and it's going to be 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth square rooted, which is 1. Uh, then we're going to check the magnitude of our third column. It's going to be 0 squared plus 0 squared plus 1 over root 2 squared, which is 1 half, plus 1 over root 2 squared, which is 1 half, square rooted, which is 1. And by the same reasoning, B4 is going to have a magnitude of 1. So all of our columns have a magnitude of 1. Next, we need to see if our columns are orthogonal to each other. So we can v1 dot v2, and we get 1 fourth plus 1 fourth minus 1 fourth minus 1 fourth, which is 0. So that's good. We do, we're going to do v1 dot v3, v1 dot v4, v2 dot v3, and v3 dot v4. So for v1 dot v3, we get 0 plus 0 plus negative 1. And, uh, oh, this should have been a negative right here. Um, I'm sorry, no, actually, it's not a negative. <laughs> I bet. All right, we get negative, uh, 1 over 2 root 2 plus 1 over 2 root 2, which gives us 0. V1 dot V4 gives us 1 over 2 root 2 minus 1 over 2 root 2 plus 0, plus 0, which is 0. And v2 dot v3 gives us 0, plus 0, plus 1 over 2 root 2, minus 1 over 2 root 2, which is 0. And v3 dot v4 gives us 0, plus 0, plus 0, plus 0, which equals 0. So, since all of our columns are orthogonal, all columns have magnitude of 1. We have a square matrix. This matrix is ortho orthogonal. Sorry. And since it's orthogonal, the inverse of A is going to equal its transpose. So all we're going to do is swap all the columns and or we flip it around the diagonal. So this is what our inverse will look like. 